The whole world drank and drank, now that's what Texas did. You can hear the vocal sounding crisp. So you wanna learn how to mix vocals in FL Studio. So in this video, we're gonna jump into how to EQ vocals. Stick around to the end of the video to join a special giveaway. What's poppin' gang? If you wanna learn more about music production, tips, and tutorials, subscribe to the channel and join the music gang full of talented individuals like yourself. I upload every Monday and Wednesday. I recently did a poll to see which program or DAW you guys like the most and majority of you guys said FL Studio. So in this video, we're pretty much just gonna show you how to EQ vocals in FL Studio. Um, today I got a special vocal, and his name is Zero. You know what I'm saying? Many of you guys know Zero, some of you guys don't. He's a dope Texas rapper. And on this song, shout out to my bro Davo, he pretty much got this verse from Zero. The link to the song will be in the description. This song is already out. Let me know if you wanna uh, download this template. A link will be in the description when it is available, but uh, right now you can probably just sign up to the email list, and when that becomes available, Available, you'll be able to download this whole entire session. So how do you EQ vocals? We're gonna jump into this session in FL Studio. Now this was not recorded in FL Studio, it was recorded in Pro Tools, but I brought it into FL Studio because you guys, on my subscriber list, like FL Studio, you know what I'm saying? So that's what I'm gonna do. Let's just listen to it real quick. Most city Texas, that's where I'm from. I'm so pimp C, like I dropped an album with Bun. Bitch, I'm so good with my hands, I don't need no gun. Got your daddy, like, why you do that to my son? They like, why all y'all look so sleepy, that's some Texas shit. Look like she got two or three booties, that's a Texas bitch. Why your pants so tight, I know you don't know what Texas is. The whole world drank and drank, now that's what Texas did. You can hear the vocal sounding crisp and clear. This is all in FL Studio, you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, let's just go ahead and jump into how I did this, how to EQ the vocal. So this right here is what's on this vocal, you know what I'm saying? Majority of these are Wave plugins and some of these are like extra plugins that uh, I pay for. Let's just jump into the EQ real quick. Okay, boom, so you have the EQ. Now, the first thing you wanna do before you even um, decide to EQ, you wanna start with taking out frequencies that sound bad. Now, when I took out this low frequency, I didn't, at first it really didn't sound bad, but I was searching for that because I knew there's probably gonna be something that I don't hear my headphones that's just gonna be too much in the low end, you know what I'm saying? Let's just bring this back up and hear what it sound like without it. Texas, most city, Texas, that's where I'm from. I'm so pimp C, like I dropped an album with Bun. Bitch. See, I searched for that frequency and I just felt like that just had to be taken out. Like, you know, it, I was, and then when I start compressing, all the good frequencies would jump out more because I'm already taking out the bad frequencies. So let's just take that back now. The next thing you probably want to do is put a high pass filter on there. Go ahead and take out majority of the low end, you know what I'm saying? That's what I did. And I think I stopped it around maybe like 80 to like 70. So I can keep majority of like the low end of his vocals, but not too much of the, the bass bass. Cause you know, I don't want it fighting with the bass of the, the beat. So next, like I searched in the high ends, like around like 3K, some of that stuff is really too much that you don't want to get. And let's just boost that so you can hear what it sound like. Texas, most city, Texas, that's where I'm from. I'm so pimp C, like I dropped an album with Bun. Bitch, I'm so good with my hands, I don't need no. See, that, that was one of the frequencies that I felt like it was just too much. And without it, let's just hear with this whole vocal without it, the EQ real quick. Texas, Mo City, Texas, that's where I'm from. I'm so pimp C, like I dropped an album with Bun. Bitch, I'm so good with my hands, I don't need no gun. Got your daddy, like, why you do that to my son? They like, why are you? You see that? See, like, some of those high frequencies, like, um, when you have, like, really expensive headphones, like, I, I, I can't really hear them in these headphones, but I already know, like, the, some of these frequencies are gonna be too high and too much, you know what I'm saying? Like, this one right here. So, go ahead and turn turn those high frequencies down like that you feel that is just really bad you know what i'm saying before you even start compressing so next i went a little bit higher i felt like this frequency was a little bit too high you can hear this one real quick houston texas mo city texas that's where i'm from i'm so pimp c like i dropped an album with bun bitch i'm so good with my hands i don't need no gun got your daddy like why you
and see that that right there i felt like um that frequency was just jumping out too much when i was mixing this song and it, it just sounded really bad so i just turned that part down so for male vocals you want to make sure you boost around two to three thousand hertz so you can see right here i boosted around two thousand hertz for females you probably want to boost around four to five thousand hertz and it's only because of the way how their vocals are sitting a female's voice will sit at a higher frequency so at the end that's then basically all i did was just add some high end and that was pretty much it you know what i'm saying it's super easy how to, how to mix vocals how to eq vocals you could do that do that and i used the uh the parametric eq is super easy to do i'm going to do a video on how to compress the vocals too so make sure you subscribe to the channel to see that video question of the day have you guys recorded in fl studio yet let me know down below in the comment section are you thinking about recording in fl studio are you still trying to record have you figured it out yet if not let me know down in the comments below and hey if you made it this far i'm doing a giveaway i'm giving out five copies of omnisphere and if you want to win a copy all you have to do is subscribe to the channel and comment down below your favorite rapper regardless of what daw you're using omnisphere is for creating different sounds and for music production i still use this program today and i still come up with new sound and i've had it for years so make sure you guys go ahead and join that giveaway you'll be happy with this program i promise you hey thank you for watching the video if you want to see more make sure you guys don't forget to subscribe and like the video hopefully you're out there staying safe and remember it's only a matter of time peace